Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're not new here and you've been here before, welcome back. Today we are continuing with Spooktober and Spooktober is basically the month October where we built spooky builds. So last week we built a vampire village and today we are recreating a home from a very famous well horror series and the home we are building is the murder home and that is from american horror story and american horror story is basically um very famous and is actually one of my favorite shows still up to date especially season uh one and season two they're my absolute favorites i love season four as well and season one is the home that we are building right now so this home is known as the murder house and when we are going further into this build i will tell you more details about it and fun facts and all that stuff and i know that this is again a very long video and i do apologize for that i'm sure you you'll be like why is she making again such a long video she did that last time as well yeah i did but I don't know how it happened guys, I really don't know, like I just built this home and suddenly I had seven and a half hour footage and I had to cut it down and I actually I sped everything up like 300% and I still had to walk, well, basically figure out, so I think it was like still one, two hours or something of footage that I had to watch and cut and redo and then cut again and then decide if I wanted to let something in, if I wanted to let something out. So there are going to be um, quite a lot of cuts and I'm sorry for that but you know here again we are placing all these little windows and then we place them all. I'm not going to show you me placing all these tiny little windows because you're probably not interested in that. And if you are interested in that I'm sorry I'm still not going to do it because that would mean that this video would be like almost two hours long. And I was wondering if I should maybe um, just make it two-parter, so do the exterior today and then do the interior on Wednesday. But I decided against that because, you know, I just love making videos out of, in, like, in one piece, so we're not going to do that. And otherwise, um, you know, I don't think anyone would watch that, to be honest. I mean, at least I wouldn't. I would like build... I mean, personally, I like it when builds are just done after one video and I really can't stand it if I have to wait for the for the furnishing or the rest of the build that's not really my style so I'm sorry so that's why we have a longer video now the way that I built this the uh, murder house is obviously uh, a real house it is located in Westchester in Los Angeles California that is for if you guys didn't know so there were obviously I could go on Google Maps and look at the home from different angles not all the angles i did decide not to build everything of the home because there's actually a complete um right wing on this home as well but i just didn't build it i didn't feel like doing that because also when you look at the pictures of the series i couldn't really figure out what was in there and the interior i basic or like the floor plan i did that with a map so they had floor plan that i found online and um actually when we are uh, when i'm editing this i Probably, if I remember, I will be adding the floor plan in there so you guys can see it with every room that we are building. I mean, like every room, probably just at the beginning when we are doing the floor plan, I will just show the floor plan maps that I found online. And that room wasn't on there and it is on the actual home, but I couldn't figure out what was actually in there. So we just skipped that. And we did a lot of uh, creative liberations, let me say it like that. So the exterior, I feel like it's pretty similar to what it is in real life as well with a little tower and I actually really really like it. I love the way this home turned out and I'm actually quite happy with it. Also with all the windows those are uh, university windows and I'm actually quite surprised because they look very similar to the windows that are on the actual home so I'm really happy with that. So I'm actually quite pleased. So right now we are figuring out where uh, more windows are going to come. We are making some bump out because I have this floor plan and recreating a floor plan in The Sims 4 is always a little bit different and it's always a little bit difficult. Especially the stairs in this build, they were quite uh, atrocious to say the least. Because in real life there are actually stairs that are outside and they go inside to the basement. Um, I skipped that. 
that's not in there. Also, the furnishing of the basement is not there, and the furnishing of the attic is also not in there, because it just became way too long. It just became a way, way too long video, so I'm apologizing for that again. I feel like I'm apologizing a lot. Also, I took the creative liberty to make this giant island living doors just because I felt like um, we needed more glass. And then in real life, the front door is actually with a tainted glass or stained glass. I don't know how you call it, like the fancy glass with color. And um, obviously, we don't have doors like that. I mean, we have the doors from, um, oh, what is it called? Magic, Realm of Magic. But that's too small and it needed to be a big entrance. So, you know. You do what you have to do. And right now we are adding doors and hallways. Again, from the floor plan, because you can obviously see where everything is in the floor plan, where there are archways, where there are doors, where there are windows. And I'm actually quite pleased with the way it turned out. I'm actually really, really happy. And then for the outside, um, since it is spooky month and we are uh, decorating like spooky builds, and we are making spooky builds, I thought it would be appropriate to actually um, make the exterior spooky as well. So we are going with a Halloween theme. And actually in the series there is one Halloween episode. They, I think they do that every single season. They have like a Halloween and a Christmas episode. And the um, Halloween episode from American Horror Story Season 1, The Murder House, is what it's called actually the season as well. And um, that is actually entirely, obviously it's horror, so there are going to be a lot of killing. So we don't have that because, you know, that's kind of brutal. And killing in The Sims 4 isn't as brutal as you would imagine it. So we have a lot of tombstones standing outside and we have a lot of pumpkins because there is this... Um, how do you how do you say it neatly like this gay couple that lives there and they're actually gonna get killed but they are really into halloween and they want to sell the home so they are carving all this uh like all these pumpkins and decorating them all outside so i actually really like the way that they did that also the entire interior is completely halloween styled with apples and more pumpkins everywhere so we kept that theme in the downstairs for the uh, living room and the kitchen because those are the only rooms that you will actually see of that couple the other rooms you don't see. The other rooms are again with the other family. So if you have never seen American Horror Story, I realize this is going to sound really confusing and I'm sorry for that. But there is actually no better way of me to explain it because it is a very confusing show to just explain. You really need to watch it and then you can understand it. But I'm going to try my best, okay? I'm, I'm really going to try my best. So basically, there is this home. This home we're building and this home there are so many deaths in this home that it's haunted so there are like 36 people that are killed in this home and all their ghosts are like um obviously still in this place and they're roaming and they're tormenting and scaring the people that actually live there so the people that live there are like um i forgot his name i think dr Harmon. i forgot his first name uh, vivian and their daughter violet and she's kind of like this sad emo teenager relatable because i watched this as a teenager and i was also very emo oh my god my hairstyle in that face what the heck <laughs> what, what was i thinking i don't even know and um they basically they're gonna get haunted by all these ghosts and then on certain episodes it's worse and on certain episodes it's not worse and then eventually vivian gets um sexually assaulted by a ghost and then she gets pregnant with the ghost and like if you've never seen it, I'm sorry, spoiler alert, so you just mute or skip the next 10 seconds. Uh, when she's actually uh, giving birth, she dies and her baby dies as well. So, uh, But then she becomes a ghost and she lives in the home itself with her daughter who also got killed. So, Anyways, spoiler alert for you right now. So right now we are making sure that the exterior looks completely the way it is and we are going over to this gazebo. And this gazebo was actually built in the show as well. It is not there on the floor plan, it's not there in the real life pictures because it was basically just built here for the show. And Dr. Harmon built this gazebo because he accidentally killed his, uh, his student that he had an affair with. And that is the reason why they moved to Los Angeles and he accidentally killed her because she came uh, going to her, well, she came to him telling them she was pregnant and then this other guy that wanted to help Dr. Harmon uh, killed her and then he had to fix the mess and bury her 
in the garden and then he built a gazebo on top of it so that it wouldn't get suspicious but obviously that is very suspicious because he didn't have a building permit and i believe you do need to have a building permit to build like gazebos and stuff anyways i was wondering if i should do something with the terrain um i decided against that in the end because in actual real life the home is built on a little bit of a higher hill so you need to go get stairs to go there but you know obviously i already built a home and then you can't work with the terrain really anymore so again creative liberties it's all fine and now we are going to do the landscaping and for the landscaping i wanted to go with this autumn look so we have these trees from um, cats and dogs and you can actually get them in all these different kinds of um, well, seasons. So you have like the red one, the green one, the little bit red brownish one. And I actually really like it because, you know, Halloween is in the autumn or fall, as Americans say. So we needed to have like a little bit of autumn colors and a little bit of like leaves on the ground. And I did set a season um, in The Sims to autumn. But I don't think that works actually in build mode, so that was quite confusing because all the bushes were still green and not a little bit brown, but you know, whatever. It's fine. And right now, like the way that I decorated it, the way that I could, I have this uh, website, it's the American Horror Story Fandom.com. And basically, they explain everything from the entire series, and they have like pictures. So, with every room in the home, they have pictures. So, the interior, we'll see it as well, is very similar to what it looks like in the series. And then the rooms where you don't have any pictures uh, from, they are clearly decorated with my impulses. And you can very much see that because um, I decorate all my rooms the same way. <laughs> but the rooms that I had pictures of, they are very different. Also the exterior and the landscaping completely based it off the uh, actual home. So they have like this little bit of a small fence or the small stone fence going around the home and I actually I thought there was this fence that I could use in debug and I went looking for it for like 10 minutes couldn't find it so we just fixed it with half walls and then we have these little like pillars that are here as well and actually I believe that we had something in debug for it as well but again I couldn't find it so that's okay and here we are making a little pathway I'm using the flat stones that I actually did find in debug and if you guys uh, want to know like how my debug looks so organized, I have the Better Build and Buy mod installed. It is the one of the only mods that I actually have installed and that I frequently use. Just because I like to use a lot of debug items and debug is really chaotic because nothing is named. And with this mod, it's basically all named. So that's really awesome. And here we are decorating some of the home with... I think this is item living stones, you're just sizing them down and making it look like it's really antique and fancy. Same that you can also see on the real home. And we are doing that with every single window and I'm not kidding you, this took me like 40 minutes to do that. And obviously I cut it out because you know it's not really interesting so we are just cutting back to the gazebo. And then we are actually going to do some landscaping because you know... Um, that student that went to Dr. Harmon's classes because like he's a psychology teacher as well. Um, Hayden is her name, like she died there. So we are going to make it look like it is just a recently dug grave. And just to make sure that you guys see it's a grave as well, I put a tombstone there. Obviously it's not there in the movies because you will not put a tombstone on someone you just killed. Especially if you want to keep it quiet that someone is killed. So that's also the reason why we place those bushes so you can't actually see the, th the tombstone and it's a bit of a surprise as a matter of fact. And I do believe that after these landscaping with these flowers, because I didn't want to overly landscape it because it is actually a quite neat piece of land. Like the grass is pretty neat, it's pretty like mowed. There aren't a lot of plants on there, it's just grass and some bushes. But, you know, obviously that looks pretty darn boring in The Sims 4, so we had to put some landscaping in there. But especially we are going to do a lot with pumpkins. As you see me right now, all these pumpkins there, I think they're also from the debug menu. And then the ones from Seasons are not from the debug menu, but I think the ones from Spooky Stuff are actually debug pumpkins. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. And then in this Halloween episode that we had, they had like this piece of candy, um, well, not piece of candy, this bowl of candy. 
that was next to the door so that they didn't have to open the entire door and then the entire entrance was decorated with pumpkins and i actually really like it i mean if i were to live in america this is something that i would do probably as well with halloween would just buy pumpkins and carve them i mean at one time at school when i was 11 10 or 11 we carved pumpkins and it was such a happy occasion and i really really enjoyed that and then we went uh, door to door with our pumpkin because in the Netherlands we don't celebrate Halloween, we have uh, Sint Maarten and Sint Maarten is basically the, the festival of light. So you, all the kids make this little lantern at school and then they go door to door and they sing songs and then when you sing a song people give you candy so it, it's kind of like Halloween because with Halloween children also go door to door I like they yell trick or treat and stuff but we don't do that here. Anyways, we are just going to finish up the garden. We are also using a lot of debug items again. We're using these rakes again, just to make it look like they are actually working on the garden and that you have a reason to have like this organized leaf pile. We are also adding a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot, a lot of tombstones in here because it is a Halloween build and we want it to make it look spooky. That's why we also use this little hands with candles next to the door and we're using these skull lights which are actually give a really nice effect when it's dark and you will see that in the screenshots as well because then the entire outside is actually lit up and i'm really happy with the way it turned down and the way it looks it actually looks really nice and that's coming from me and i'm very critical about my builds so so for this part of the build i just had filters on i had to filter on uh, spooky stuff on seasons and of vampires because those are the three packs that have obviously seasonal like decorations and spooky items and i'm actually really enjoying like making halloween builds i think i'm going to do that more often i'm actually currently i'm working on another build that is hopefully coming up on wednesday if i manage because it is quite a large build as well because i decided to build these um horror movie homes for spooktober and that is all fine and well, but usually like homes from them for movies are pretty big. I actually, I don't know any scary story that has like a soul home, except like maybe the bathroom from Soul 1, but I'm not going to build that because you know, why would I? <laughs> maybe if I like short on time, but you know, I don't really enjoy doing that. I'm not going to tell you what project I'm currently working on just in case I don't get to finish it. But I'm really excited about it and I really I really think you guys are going to like it as well. I'm, I'm sure you guys are going to like this as well. I mean, if you haven't seen American Horror Story, you would love it. And if you haven't seen American Horror Story, you would still love it because it is in a ridiculously pretty home. And that's coming from me and I, I really put effort in this home. Like I'm quite surprised how much effort I took in this home. And also when you're looking at pictures of how stuff are decorated, you actually... At least for me, I figured out a new way of decorating, like, oh, I never used this item. So for, for example, for those ghosts, because I never actually built spooky, like, builds. I came to, like, appreciate the spooky stuff pack, even though I already loved spooky stuff. But again, especially the season pack, I came to appreciate that very much. Not only for its windows, but for its items as well. And I just, well, I was so surprised. The same with debug, how many amazing items are actually in there. And all these pumpkins, just wow. Just wow. <laughs> and I think that in a moment, at least I hope we are, we are going to the interior. I'm not quite sure, like looking at the time, I could have easily made this into two videos, like one video doing the exterior, one video doing the interior. But you know, I'm already working on one big video now, so we're just gonna continue with one giant video. Again, we are using those little spooky lights. I think that in a minute we actually are going to play some hands to make it look like there are actually people coming from the grave or I th maybe we've already done that. So I'm doing this voiceover on Sunday morning. You can probably hear it from my voice. I'm sorry. And I finished this build uh, Friday evening. And I don't know how or why, but my Sims game just randomly shuts off. So I decorated this backyard like three times. 
and that's not even exa exaggerating, my game crashed three times in a row and just when I was about to save it I was like oh yeah, I'm gonna press save and then it crashed. So you know that was in total that was almost an hour of work every time just gone. So it was very tiresome. So I really don't know what I decorated, what I didn't decorate it. Same with the living room, it just kept crashing and it was so so annoying. Uh, see, we are going to move over to the interior now and we're actually going to start with the dining room. And we are going to, um, because obviously we have to debug, we have those little plates and cutlery and we're actually going to decorate it with actually like a set table. Just to make it look fancy and then we're going to put some fruit bowl in there and we are actually going to use our red shelf, our famous red shelf. It's another CC or malt item that I use. I use more mods than I think. Whoa. And we are actually going to uh, recreate the dining room from when the um, gay couple lived there and I believe their name was Chat and Patrick. Let me just uh, check, yeah, Chat and Patrick. A fun fact, Chat was actually pra uh, played by the same actor that played... Um, uh, Mr. Spock in the new Star Trek movie, so that's actually really fun. And they had like this entire Halloween party at their home, so it's like this biting an apple. And so hence why I put all the apples there and the pumpkins, because it was filled with pumpkins and apples. And I actually really enjoyed placing all those items. I never even knew that we had apples in the game that you could actually place like that. You can see that I don't spend enough time in debug, that's just clear now. I should do that more often. And right now we are going over to the other section of the living room. Uh, living room, I keep saying living room, I mean dining room. Because, you know, it is a very big dining room and you're not just gonna have only um, a dinner table and that's it. That would be a little bit boring. So we are gonna have or add this little seating area with some pumpkins again. And then we are going to stay, stand this little vampire reading book just to make it more spooky because, you know, they were gonna get a Halloween party, so... There is that. And again, those pumpkins from Seasons, man, I love them. I really love them. I also felt like it was kind of appropriate to hang some vampire paintings there to resemble the people that lived there before. And I actually, I'm going to say it again, but I really like it. I really, really do. And then obviously we are going to add some glasses. And then when we are finishing up with some curtains, our living room is complete and we are going to keep the curtains white and we are going to have the same curtains in the entire build. Oh, we ha actually had another random corner in our, live our dining room that I forgot about. I mean, I decorated so much in this home, I don't even remember where's what. It's insane. I do know that after this we are going to move over to the library. And the library is where Dr. Harmon would held his um, psych sessions because he was also a licensed uh, psychologist or a psychiatrist, or one of psychologists and psychiatrist, psychiatrist. Anyway, one of those two. Um, he was allowed to give medicine, so I think that makes you a uh, psychologist. I'm not sure. I don't even know, really know the difference. I just know that one is allowed to give medicine and one isn't. So again, I had these pictures of how the uh, library looked and I actually was really surprised that a lot of the furniture that was used in the series, we actually have that in The Sims. So the couch and the chairs and the table, also with the fireplace, I was really pleasantly surprised about that. The same with the wallpaper, I was really surprised that we actually had some wallpaper that they used. I mean, good job Sims team. For once, I'm not complaining about how I, don't, how I can never find the item that I want to because I just found it and it's there. I'm really quite surprised. Also, I'm sorry, I need to take a sip of water every now and again because, you know, talking for 46 minutes in a row is straining on your voice, especially since you've just woken up. And since this is a... Woo, let's do that again. So since this is a study, um, we are going to obviously add some bookcases and then we are going to move over to the living room. Over the living room it was pretty hard to find matching couches because I really wanted the one from um, Eagle Lifestyle because it had the same texture as the one from actually series. 
you know what I'm going maybe I'm going to add a, a picture in the rooms that are that are actually like in the library in the dining room just so you guys can actually see what it looks like and that I'm actually pretty similar to how it looks I'm actually quite happy with that <laughs> maybe I'll do that so for the living room I took some um, creative liberties let's call it that and I place like the couches and that was it basically because the other parts of the living room um, you didn't actually see it that right and I honestly I could have just looked it up by watching the show but I really didn't feel like um, watching everything again because I'm already working on a different series and I can't just watch one episode of a series like I need to watch the entire series that is something personal that I is my weird thing so you know there is that but I do really enjoy how the entire living room is decorated with these plants because, you know, it is a pretty dark home and like Vivi and the woman that lived here really wanted to make it look bright and cozy and homesy. And I think she actually really succeeded in that and therefore I think I succeeded in it as well. I'm actually quite happy with the way it turned out. Now the kitchen, I'm really proud of that. Unfortunately, like um, I had to cut most of it out because, you know, we are it's a ridiculously long video and I just didn't want to bother you guys with all these things that you are probably not interested in in how I choose debug items and stuff like that. So that is actually cut out and you will just see me placing it and having some objects placed. Also I did some fun thing with the couch in the, uh, with the window. It is actually, um, I think you can use it, I didn't play test the build. Hmm forgot to do that whoopsies but I used the marble uh, pieces and then I sized down one of the kids chairs and then I raised that up and then you actually have like this idea that you have like this breakfast uh, nook bench like in the corner there and I actually really like the way it looks I have no clue if it's functional but you have enough other tables to sit at and eat breakfast or you know just sit at so it's completely fine and just with some small decorations that we are adding. The kitchen is almost complete so this kitchen is pretty darn similar to the one that's in the series and I'm actually really really happy with that and I'm quite proud with how it turned out. I'm actually I'm still amazed with how similar it looks. Again we are adding some pumpkins because we wanted it to look spooky and you know that's just my vibe that we're going for this month. Spooky is good. And then we are actually done with the kitchen and I think we are then going to move over to the top level because I felt inspired to actually build Violet's bedroom. Now Violet's bedroom is a very special room. I based the entire thing of one picture and I really like her room so I remembered a lot about it. And this is actually um, the same room where one of the ghosts also got killed. And fun thing, all the objects that are in her room are actually uh, references to the episodes that we have had or that we will have so you will see me uh, placing a lot of items so you will see me placing like um, it's fortunately we have like a poster of a skull so I place an actual skull so that is just referencing back to pictures and episodes and things that happened in the past so we're having like uh, a skull there we're gonna have um, a jar of Oh, a jar for skull. And then we're actually gonna have like a T-Rex skull there as well. Then we're gonna have. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have uh, spiked belts in the game because that is necessary, so we skipped that one. But we are gonna have like an armchair in there. We're gonna have like the Ferris wheel. We're gonna have the dollhouse. You know, we're gonna have like this um, poster of Saturn because really quite dark mythology here. Um, according to uh, legend. Saturn devours children as soon as they're as soon as they're born, and Sa Saturn assumes power by castrating his father, and then he married his sister. So that's really weird shit. But you know, um, we are gonna do it as god honest as we can, and we're going to be like as truthful as we can as well. Also, we're like weird bugs, so I use the bug poster and that weird bug light. But we're gonna make it as like real as we can and I'm actually really quite happy with the way like it turned out and obviously Violet is a teenager so I feel like having that dollhouse there is really uh how do you say it's like fun 
not really fun but like special and we are going to size it down and place it on this little stand though in a minute so don't worry about that and we are also um i really i'm gonna say it again but i love the way that this room is decorated and it gave me so much inspiration to actually decorate other rooms as well and because it is a teenager and violet is a bit of a messy teen um you will be seeing on the screenshots a lot of dirty laundry um actually on the ground and everywhere in her room because in the series there is always a pile of laundry around her bed so you know we had to do that and we're also going to give her a desk it doesn't really have any skill building items um in this uh, room because in the series like she didn't have a guitar or a violin or anything like that so you know we didn't give her that even though i really wanted her like we did give her a computer I believe she had one in the series as well, I'm not quite sure, and like a bookcase, so there is an option of skill building. But it's not like she has like an easel or stuff like that. And I actually like, um, I know that her name is Violet, but I really find it ironic that I like gave her a Violet room and a Violet bed, a Violet chair, a Violet desk, you know, everything is Violet, even a Violet uh, dollhouse. And actually, um, her bedroom on the Wikipedia is called the Turquoise Bedroom. And, you know, I really thought that was funny. But then again, that could have just been me. So we gave her again another uh, Violet Rock. Just to um, make people look like, you know, um, this is kind of important. Also in the series, he has like this iPod on his docking station. And that stereo was the like closest resemblance that I could get to that. And I'm actually relatively happy with how it turned out. Like Violet's bedroom, maybe one of my favorite bedrooms that I've ever decorated, just because of the fact that it is so different than I usually decorate stuff. And there again, me taking a sip of water. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Like you have this open space in bedrooms in the middle, which you usually have so that like, kids can play or you know chill in her case because i know she's a teenager we're gonna add some little books like a box of tissues because in the series she is sad quite a lot she even died crying so her ghost self was only crying and she didn't even realize she died like that was pretty sad oh a spoiler alert by the way oops sorry <laughs> and again here you see me adding those uh piles of laundry just to make sure um you know that we get a feel of who she really was and he did want to put like this laundry basket on top of the couch because her mom would just put put it there and be like hmm, clean up your stuff come on girl be neat you know stuff like that i do believe that i cut out decorating uh the bathrooms in this home and that's just personal preference i really hate decorating bathrooms so they never look really interesting but they are on the screenshots so if you're interested for that just skip over to the screenshots they will be in like yeah, what is it, like 13 minutes? And otherwise you still have 13 minutes of me talking. I mean, I'm quite surprised that I could actually stay on topic for the last 33 minutes. That is impressive, guys. You realize that I actually never ever stay on topic with my bills? Except with my very first voiceover. I will remember that. I stayed on topic so much. I even wrote out an entire script of what I wanted to say because I was so nervous of actually doing the voiceover and um, I'm not nervous anymore for the voiceovers now because I it's gonna sound really cocky but I just know what I'm doing even if you can say it like that so you know there is that jazz also I just noticed that the curtains are actually coming through the ceiling but don't worry we're gonna fix that we are just placing furniture on top of it so you don't see it I mean that's the way to fix everything right guys and again, we were using with a red shelf, just making sure that this uh, dresser is nicely decorated. Because, you know, in real life or real life in the series, it is as well. So we are now working on the master bedroom. And the master bedroom is actually where um, two people died. So it is quite haunted. And the way that the master bedroom is laid out, it is actually um, a little bit different than what I laid it out because I actually think that I placed the master bedroom in the wrong side of the home. Uh, looking at the pictures right now I think the master bedroom should have been on the other side of the home because then it makes sense but you know it is completely fine doesn't really matter. We decorated it and that's what's important. So here we are making sure that the bathroom gets uh, nicely done as well we are just adding some more laundry 
And this bathroom, it was actually really nice. I'm actually quite surprised and happy with the way it turned out. So we are going to use a lot of debug um, items, so like a lot of makeup, because Vivian, she wears a lot of makeup. I mean, like, I'm not judging, but she wears a lot, a lot of makeup. <laughs> so and luckily we have all those items in debug, so we can just use it. And then we still had some space left, so we are just using this cupboard and we are filling it actually up with some um, fancy seating area. I mean, you have that in all those very famous hotels, you have like this really weird bench suddenly in the middle of your bathroom, so whatever we are having it here right now as well and then we're just having two uh, bathrobes like him and hers bathrobes even though uh violet and her husband don't really get along that well because he cheated on her i mean that is just really an awful move i could never be with a guy that cheated on me just i couldn't i have too much respect for myself to be with that but you know whatever and I think that after we decorated this bathroom, we're actually going over to the nursery. So in the series, Violet becomes pregnant with a ghost, but also at the same time with her husband. So she has like uh, twins, but only one of the twins is her husband. A very rare medical condition, according to the series. I have no clue if it's actual real, but um, you know, who cares? So we are making this nursery, obviously they're babies, so we're gonna have like two bassinets, but only two bassinets in the room, that's not worth it. So we are also making this little um, box, I really don't know what to call it in English, um, where the children can just lie in when they're a little bit bigger. And actually, fun fact, the entire series, um, well not the entire series, but a big part of it revolves around uh, these babies. Because when uh, Chad and Patrick lived here, they were also going to adopt a baby. And then they were fighting and they were like gonna break up so they didn't get a baby. So then the ghost of the home killed them because they, the ghosts want babies. I, know, I, I sound crazy just saying this, man. Like, if, honestly, if you haven't watched American Horror Story already, make sure you watch it, except if you're like underage. Um, I, I feel like American Horror Story is probably appropriate for... Uh, if you're 15 or older, because there are quite some um, R-rated scenes in there. Let me just say it like that. So if you're like 12, don't watch it. Just don't do it. Ask permission for your parents first. Just don't do it, guys. I'm warning you. And right now we are... Um, what I had in mind... Actually, this, this should have been the master bedroom looking at the pictures, but anyways. So what I had in mind was when... Um, oh, this is going to sound so weird, but like the neighbor of Vivian and Dr. Harmon, uh, her name is Constance and she used to live in this house. And she had this daughter and her daughter had um, Down syndrome. And I feel like this would be her room because she is really a girly girl and she is so obsessed with being pretty and being a real girl even though obviously um, she's already a real girl but she was really obsessed with uh, pink and pretty things so i wanted to make a room that was pretty and was pink just you know especially for her so we gave her this really amazing bedroom and I, that's coming for me but I, I love this bedroom it is so cute and um, in the series, she's kind of um, being mistreated because her mom locks her up in a cupboard of mirror when she misbehaves. And that's pretty darn awful. And, you know, we're not going to build that cupboard here, that's just sad. We are going to make her have this really pretty room. And for Halloween, she actually wants to be a pretty girl, so she's going to wear makeup and everything. And uh, spoiler alert. Again, skip 10 seconds. Um, that's actually where she dies as well on Halloween. But she dies like in front of the home and when you die in the property of the home itself, you become a ghost in the home. But um, Adelaide, that's the daughter, she dies just outside of the front uh, gates. So she just dies and she doesn't become a ghost. Obviously it was very sad because Adelaide was a very sweet girl. She was really nice. And to do her justice, we are building this very pink girlish room just the way that she wanted it because you know she wanted to be a pretty girl i mean i already thought she was pretty but you know we are building this for her in rec room we have also like no pictures of what her bedroom uh looked like or would have been looked like we have no pictures of this room at all so i'm just guessing and i'm going for my own imagination and you can probably 
uh, tell that because I placed skill building items, I placed multiple seating areas, you know, just typical me stuff when decorating a room. But I am getting better at it, like um, I took some, I, well I don't say advice, but when I was decorating like the master bedroom and the uh, Violet, uh, Violet her room, I was just imagining, like, hmm, what would Adelaide her room look like? So I just googled girly teen room and then I got some uh, reference pictures from that. And I'm actually really quite happy with the way it turned out. I mean, I really think it's it's cute. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And that, that's all I'm going to say about it, because I think in a minute we are actually going to uh, move over to the breakfast area that we are building downstairs. So the upstairs is completely finished right now. And now we are going downstairs and we are tackling these long, long long hallways they are so big and they are so long so we're actually going to build like a lot of cupboards and we're going to put some fireplaces down there and i'm actually really happy with in the end with how i decorated all these hallways because they are big 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 hallways like really big it's insane and right here we are building this little breakfast area so like i can imagine that you do, didn't want to have like breakfast in this very fancy uh dining room every day so just outside the kitchen we're gonna have this little corner in like in the home and in the, uh, in the series there's actually like a pantry here like a walkthrough pantry but you know obviously in the sims we don't really have the objects um to make it look like the complete style of the home and it would have just been looking weird so we are not doing that so we are making this into a little, I don't know, like weird corridor and stuff. And again, I had to be really careful to just throw in my own style and stay like true to the style of the home. So we're using this little bit of an old rock because, you know, um, usually everyone just comes in through the back door and they don't even know that there's someone in the home. Look your back door people, like really. And here we are decorating the front of the home. So this will be the entry next to the, well, like, the main entrance and we are decorating that in halloween style as well so we're using pumpkins so when the children go trick-or-treating then they look inside they can actually see those little pumpkins and i actually thought this was really clever and i'm really happy with it anyways guys i think that in a minute well i know that in a minute we are going to get to the screenshots so guys if you have enjoyed this uh episode make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you guys very much for like sticking through this entire video like kudos to you and um, if you know someone that would enjoy this content um, consider liking it of, or sharing it with that person so we can grow our community together and we are going into the screenshots in a minute and i will leave you guys to that have a wonderful day guys and i will hope to see you guys next time bye